Hi there guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back and this is the uh, second video of 2024 and I thought, thought I'd kick it off with something I've been meaning to do for about the last two or three months and uh, as you know from looking at the thumbnail you'll know it's the first shootout video of 2024 um, so what we're talking about today is the Stephen Wilson remix of Rick Wright's Wet Dream album from 1978. So, a little bit of a potted history. 1978, um, Rick Wright decamps to Super Bear Studios in France. There's a little bit of a tax dodge and uh, records his first solo album, Wet Dream. Um, it was released in 78 and didn't do much. Um, only sort of hardened Pink Floyd fans bought it really it wasn't sort of generally looked upon as a groundbreaking album I love this album I think Rick's voice is brilliant on it and I think his songwriting is great on it um, the production is great on it and uh, more importantly the mix on this is good fast forward to 2023 Sounds like a herd of elephants, it's actually my son. Um, <laughs> fast forward to 2023 and Stephen Wilson's given the master tapes. Uh, they're transferred to digital and uh, Stephen Wilson works his magic on this. And in all fairness, you know, the packaging on this record let's just show you the packaging this is in one of those really beautiful soft touch jackets um, there's the gatefold if you've not seen it before there's a an inner sort of uh, sheet which sort of reproduces the original album art I showed this all on my original video I think but generally speaking, this is a, a great record. Um, where's the inner? Oh yeah, it comes with a polyline dinner. Um, you know, they've done a really good job of the packaging on this. And uh, I'm really, really impressed. And when I first got it, I think it was September time, um, I was blown away by it really oh, the, the actual record itself is in a beautiful let me just get this back in here it's on beautiful marble vinyl it's absolutely gorgeous it fits in well with the theme of the record and I've had high hopes for this remix now you may remember I did a Jeffro Toll uh, thick as a brick um, shootout video where I wasn't best pleased with the end result with the Stephen Wilson mix <coughs> and uh, yeah um, brilliant packaging lovely vinyl really well presented and in my opinion that's where it ends it's uh, a bad sounding record um, let me explain I listened to three tracks on this album um, the opening track uh, Mediterranean uh, Against the Odds and Holiday I listened to those three tracks because I know them fairly well didn't want to listen to the whole record and I thought if I listen to those tracks that will give me a good idea of how the record's been mixed and I went backwards and forwards forwards and back between the two records I played to a half of one record uh, one track took it off put the next record on played the same half compared 
the different sections, the instrumentation, the separation. And uh, first of all, this is cut hotter than the reissue. Excuse me, this is cut hotter than the remix. Um, it's significantly louder than the Stephen Wilson remix. That said, this is the remix we're talking about and we're, we're trying to discuss the differences between the mixes. First of all, Stephen Wilson, in my mind, has sucked the life out of Richard Wright's voice on this. Um, he's not only brought it back in the mix, so it's more level with the instrumentation. In some cases, it's almost lost in the mix. Um, um, you listen to the original pressing. This is brighter, it's got a better top end. The stereo separation seems to be better. Um, the EQ's better on it. The Stephen Wilson just seems very compressed. That's it, it's compressed, really compressed. There's no dynamics at all on this remix. There's plenty of dynamics on this. Not that it's a dynamic album, because it's fairly um, easy listening, if you like. It's like fairly laid back. You know the score with Rick Wright, he's not a, a rock and roller. You know, uh, you, you put this on to chill out to, really. But that said, his voice on this is beautiful. He's got a lovely voice. He's not the best singer in the world, by any stretch of the imagination, but... His voice is his voice, it's Rick Wright, you know, and uh, <sighs> buy this if you don't know any better. If you already own this, I wouldn't waste your money. Stay with the original. Um, it's much better, much, much better. Um, it's more dynamic, more dynamic, it's hotter. Um, Rick's voice um, sails above the instrumentation in the mix. It's much more present and more upfront. Um, on Against the Odds, the acoustic guitar that opens uh, Against the Odds on this um, is front and centre. On here, it's been put back in the mix. It's not as, not as upfront. It's quite a dominant part of that song. It's an, an intro, so it needs to be there sort of thing. Um, the other thing is the, the grand piano on this. When you put this on, the grand piano on holiday sounds like it's in the room. On this, it's flat and lifeless. That's my opinion. I'm sorry, Stephen. You've screwed it up again. I probably won't buy any more Stephen Wilson remixes. I've got three. I've got Wet Dream, I've got um, Thick as a Brick, and I've also got Brave by uh, Marillion, um, which I, is okay. It's not as good as the original mix that Steve Hunter did. But um, <clears throat> anyway, that's it. Sorry to be, <laughs> be the bearer of bad news. Uh, I've been working on getting this done for quite some time. I, I've found myself with some time today to actually sit down and listen to this. Full disclosure, I was listening to this for about an hour. That's all I needed. It's literally that night and day. It's, it's, um, it's bad that... Uh, I've heard good things about Stephen Wilson's remixes that some of them are better than the originals like maybe some of the Yes remixes I've not heard them um, but certainly his remix of Wet Dream is not good I, I, I don't like it um, it's lifeless, it's flat it's totally compressed and um, he sucks the life out of Rick Wright's voice sorry 
But that being said, hit like and subscribe if you like the content. Um, I've got a few more videos coming up I'm working on. Um, and I shall see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye now.